and now my older brother's a doctor, my younger brother's a teacher, and I was fortunate to compete in two Olympics and now uh, work as a coach in rowing at Stanford University. Human Achievement, presented by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Responsibility, what's your policy? The sun picking through now at Dorney Lake as we get set for the final in the women's double skull. So much attention on Great Britain, Anna Watkins and Catherine Granger. Granger, a three-time Olympic medalist, but never a goal. So close trying to break through today. The United States, a terrific accomplishment to make it to the final. Margot Shumway and Sarah Trowbridge, but they're in lane one, and that is a bit of a disadvantage. Many expected the U.S. to be here as they are waiting from the start line in the women's double skull. Shumway and Get it, Mori! Get that lady! In trials, the other two teams declined. Three or four of those who uh, are not here at the Olympics, by the way. So the U.S. in the final, next to China in lane two, Poland in three, New Zealand four, Great Britain in five, and Australia out in six. Yes. From there, the United States crew had to go to the final Olympic qualification regatta, also known as the regatta. Very few go through, but they won it, and that's how they earned their ticket here to the Olympic Games, then advancing through the repechage to earn a spot in the final. Great Britain out front, Anna Watkins, the 29-year-old, who's come back from a back injury, took her off the water in 2011. She's okay now, though. Catherine Granger, the most decorated British female rower around. Three-time Olympic medalist, but never a goal. Silver just got beat at the end and a bronze medal, so the wait here is for her to finally get a gold. If she's got the three world championship gold medals uh, prior to those Olympics, and then she's won gold at the world championships with Watkins. They've just been an unbelievable partnership since they got together in 2010. They have not lost a race. See the number six, Australia, Kim Crow and Brooke Hadley. How about the week? Love you, Bodie.